Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the organizing committee chaired by the University of Florence, NYU Stern Salomon Center, and this year with the co-organizer, the European University Institute and the University of Udine, I declare open the 10th celebrative edition of the International Risk Management Conference. Uh, as in the first edition, we are back on when we are born in this room 10 years ago. I am Olivier Orogi, for, for who doesn't know me. Uh, I'm the chairman of the Risk Banking and Finance Society, the society that supports and organizes the International Risk Management Conference beside the uh, Risk Banking and Finance World Conference. And it's my responsibility and duty to illustrate uh, to you this uh, special edition of the International Risk Management Conference. Uh, but before providing you a little bit of uh, history, and of the IRB, uh, RBF and the achievement and also the future goals of IRMC, uh, let me introduce you the president of the University of Florence, my colleague, uh, Professor Luigi Dei, that will give uh, the formal remarks. Thanks, Luigi. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this 10th International Conference on Risk Management. I would like, first of all, to thank my colleague, Olivier Roggi, Conference Chairman, for inviting me to open this important Congress. I am very glad to bring you the greetings and best wishes of the University of Florence and my personal ones. The theme of your conference is truly very interesting and stimulating, assessing 10 years of changes in the financial markets. How will the future be impacted? When researchers and scholars meet to discuss and compare the results of the recent advanced studies is always a wonderful event for a rector, since we can make the point of the situation and try to plan perspectives for future studies and researchers. The topic of the conference deals with uh, what is fully immersed in our contemporary societies. And it needs constant and deep investigation in order to take the rate of changing in such a very complex and continuously moving world. Often we read that nowadays societies are characterized by the prominence of knowledge in every field. I strongly believe this is especially true and therefore even in your field, it's fundamental to promote theoretical and applied research aimed mainly to answer the question this conference proposes. Indeed, it's very important, thanks to a multidisciplinary approach, trying to set up tools able to predict the future. in such a very fluid matter, which are the financial markets. I am convinced that the university and research centers have the appropriate skills and competencies to develop new theories and new associated instruments to face up the theme of the risk management. This conference, with many experts coming from various countries, is the proof that we can have great hopes that we will succeed in identifying some possible answers to your question, starting from the very conclusion of this conference. I would like to conclude my brief speech wishing the best success for the conference and for the future of your researches and studies. And please, despite this terrible hot, try also to enjoy with the cultural heritage beauties of our cities. Thank you for your attention and again, my best wishes. So, uh, thank you, Luigi. We are honored to be in Florence, at the University of Florence, and in, uh, for, for at least uh, for personal reasons, because I'm a professor here, <laughs> and also be in, uh, as a chairman of the conference itself. Now let's go back to the conference topic and agenda. Nine years ago, when Ed and I, we started this conference here in Florence. Ah, by the way, Ed, he apologizes, he will be here in the afternoon. And uh, 
um, we, we were not aware that the conference topic would not change so much along the years. In fact, since 08, if you go back, and we will soon see a few of the titles that we used for the, the, the last ten, uh, year conference, financial, the words financial stability, volatility, contagion, have been the, in the conference title permanently. But as a con mainly as a consequence of many and several crises experienced in, the, in these 10 years, the crises have affected big corporations such as Fannie Mae, Freddie, May, Freddie Mac, and Lehman Brothers, uh, to remember just the biggest one, and government. We were at the conference where on live we assist, we, we um, testify several phone calls in Luxembourg among the head of the European uh, Stability Mechanism, and um, Miss uh, Angela Merkel and it was about the Greek uh, uh, cut, uh, haircut. Ireland, Iceland, Italy, Spain, Portugal, uh, several crises. Regulation has, cha has changed also accordingly. We moved from Basel II, uh, before the, that we start the conference, into Basel III framework with the 2011, 2013 directives. In US, the Dodd-Frank Act was, uh, was approved in 2010 we, the European Union set up the banking union uh, and a single resolution mechanism and the single uh, supervisory mechanism as well in 2014. So many, many, many things happened in the 10 years we have been together. Uh, how not to recall also the TARP and the quantitative easing program launched by the central banks uh, along uh, the years. So the last 10 years reshaped the financial system, dramatically revised the regulation in banking, and gave born to several new theory and models on liquidity, systemic risk, and financial stability, able to explain the change and also to uh, try to uh, understand better the new heavily interconnected financial world. In deciding for the, t the title of this 10 year celebrative edition, we could not ignore it. And as mentioned by the, our president, uh, Luigi Dei, we select something that has a backward looking and a forward looking. In fact, the two elements characterizing this edition are the 10 years we spent together trying to gain a better understanding of uh, the changing in financial markets, institution and regulation, and the future of the financial system, markets, and modeling that we are looking forward to hear from the participant. Before to give the floor to the speakers, as a permanent chair, I have a several obligations. Let's start it uh, to say thanks to this year's co-organizer. I mentioned it before, the European University Institute, represented by Elena Carletti. You will meet her on Tuesday afternoon when we will go to the European Institute for the Protectional Section. And the University of Udini, represented by my uh, colleague uh, Stefano Miani. Uh, my thanks go to all of them for the effort in the, the organizational task. Second, I would like to remind the all former and, and, and this year keynote speakers, conference organizers and conference consult consultants who have accepted to participate to this uh, celebrative edition of the IRMC. We invited uh, the full 60 uh, keynotes uh, and featured lectures we had along the, the 10 years, and as a consequence, you have seen it in the agenda, the agenda is full of distinguished scholar and practitioner ready to make, to make, I hope, this edition memorable in the future years. Uh, during the gala dinner, I will thank them all, as I said, in details. Finally, uh, it is my duty to thank the sponsors who have generously contributed to the success of this event. First of all, I would like to thank NYU Stern Salomon Center, uh, for being both uh, financial support and for the operational support that provided also with the two colleagues that they do chair won the conference at Altman and Manach and Brenner, the scientific committee. Then the, our gold sponsor, the Fondazione CR Firenze, Cassa del Risparmio di Firenze, and the silver sponsor, Prometea El Sevier, 
the European Stability Mechanism, S&P Global, and finally, Classes Capital for the Best Paper Award. Of course, my thanks goes all to all my staff that has been working all year long to organize this conference. Alessandro Giannozzi, Fiammetta Menchetti, Kathleen Vegvari, and um, Giacomo Toscano. Uh, grazie di cuore to all of you and, all, uh, and to my staff in particular. We received this year 248 paper. We reviewed it and accepted uh, 80, 98 of them. Uh, and we have, uh, yeah, we have them presented in the parallel session. We have also located outside of here a um, panel uh, poster session that you can attend during the coffee break and lunch. And now it's time to, to start the today program and with the two first keynotes. And today we will start it with the keynote speech of Linda Allen, that she was uh, last year in Israel at, at the, her first conference. Yes. Welcome back. Uh, you, you can't get away. <laughs> <laughs> and her lecture is entitled Do International Banks Engage in, in Insider Trading? Trading, Followed by Cristiano Zazzara, S&P Global Market Intelligence, who will present a joint paper with the Nobel Laureate 2002, Rob Engel, that was our keynote, former keynote speakers in 2012. The paper is on systemic risk in the financial system capital shortfall under Brexit, the US election, and the Italian referendum that we know it's a very hot topic due to the re recent UK and French election. Uh, I had many more thanks, but I will probably um, say a word after on. Uh, we are late on the program, so I give the floor to Linda. That If you want to move there, or if, if you want to stay there, we will provide you the... the um, Thank you, Luigi, again. Oh, of course, the, the president has to leave, so I would like uh, to um, grant to him an applause for the hosting. Thank you.